apocalypse centuries before their own time, and that they calculated this global catastrophe could strike again in hours. If they witness certain events, like meteoritic strikes or cataclysms, then it may well be that they, they got so spooked out of it that they somehow try to warn others. Did the ancient Egyptians preserve such a warning in documents other than the Book of the Dead? This book, said to be lost until recent decades. Like the Orion prophecy, it foresees doom unleashed by forces beyond Earth. It speaks of an entity approaching us from the far reaches of space, aptly known as the Destroyer. Believers are convinced the ancient Egyptians looked into the future 4,500 years ago and saw the end of the world in our time. But there are many different sources of the prophecy, and debate endures over which may be the most accurate. Some believe this book is the most credible source of all. It is called the Colburn Bible. The Colburn Bible is a 3,600-year-old secular anthology. The first part was written about the same time as the Old Testament. The Colburn Bible gives us a way to look inside the minds of the Egyptians who built the pyramids. Eleven separate books comprise the Colburn Bible. The first six written by the ancient Egyptians, the remaining six by Celtic priests. The oldest part was purportedly written after the drama of the Exodus which some date to the 15th century before Christ. This was a pivotal episode in Hebrew history when the prophet Moses confronted the Egyptian Pharaoh and eventually delivered the enslaved Hebrews from bondage. According to the Colburn Bible, this seminal event left the Egyptians demoralized. Their pantheon of gods had failed them. The Hebrews had thumped them pretty good and they just were trying to understand. So they went out and gathered all of the folklore and wisdom uh, that they could find within their trading realm. And what survives of it is the first part of the Colburn Bible. The Colburn Bible is said to have been discovered in England in the 12th century. But since no original manuscript seems to exist, some have doubts about its authenticity. Like adherents of the Orion prophecy, Believers of the Colburn Bible say it warns of a celestial disaster, perhaps a catastrophic polar shift. In that event, it is an extinction-level event, maybe 90% of life on the planet. But according to the Colburn Bible, the extraterrestrial force that triggers the event is not the sun. Instead, the prophecy mentions a mysterious celestial body called the Destroyer. The text says it will not collide with the Earth, but pass close enough to trigger global devastation. It has its own magnetic field, positive and negative. The planet Earth also has its own magnetic field. It necessarily doesn't even have to collide, but if it grazes by, it literally can cause upthrusts and downthrusts of the land. The Colburn Bible also recounts how the destroyer has passed by the Earth several times. According to the text, the last occurrence devastated Egypt 3,600 years ago. Its color was bright and fiery in appearance, changing and unstable. And all men agree it was a most fearsome sight. What really captured my attention about the Colburn Bible is that the ancient Egyptians tell us this object has flown through the system many times before, and 3,600 years ago, it was a horror for them. But scientists reject this assertion. Astronomers have uh, done enough celestial mechanics uh, studies to conclude that there's been no flyby at any time in human history. Could astronomers be wrong? Could the destroyer be a planet beyond those known in our solar system? A planet in a long elliptical orbit that passes close by Earth once every 3,600 years? 
Such a body has been the stuff of conjecture for more than two decades after an intriguing discovery in the early 1980s. There was a lot of concern back in 1983 when uh, a couple of astronomers published the discovery of an infrared source. And at that time there was speculation, not by astronomers, but by others, that this was Planet X, the 10th planet. We believe that this object is anywhere from four times the size of the Earth to maybe even perhaps as large as Jupiter. Those convinced that Planet X exists and is heading our way point to recent astronomical changes they claim are the result of its approach. The sun is more active in the southern hemisphere than the northern hemisphere, according to NASA probe data. Earth's magnetosphere has been weakening and changing and actually is pointing towards the south. And numerous other things that are happening just tell us that there's some kind of perturber out there. If Planet X does exist, and is the menacing object depicted in the Colburn Bible, when might it have its catastrophic close encounter with Earth? The Colburn Bible describes a series of events said to herald the moment. A hundred and ten generations shall pass into the West, and nations will rise and fall. Men will fly on the air as birds, and birds fly and swim in the seas as fishes. It totally relates to the here and now. That's airplanes and submarines. One generation might be between um, 35 to 40 years old. So if you times that by 110, you're looking quite possibly at that 3600 time period. It correlates to here and now. According to the Colburn Bible, events such as these are a sign that the return of the destroyer is imminent. But scientists assert that Planet X is a fantasy. Astronomers categorically rule out that there's any Planet X within the vicinity of the solar system. We have lots of astronomical data that would easily expose the existence of Planet X if indeed it really did exist. We have enough data on the celestial movement of bodies in our solar system to rule out that possibility. Despite scientific evidence to the contrary, believers in the Colburn Bible and Planet X persist in their assertion that an extraterrestrial catastrophe will menace mankind in the near future. But some claim that the ancient Egyptians did more than predict our imminent end that they might have preserved the means to prevent it. The possibility may hinge on making a dramatic discovery beneath the Great Pyramid's silent companion, the Sphinx. Whether the apocalypse is wrought by man or by nature, believers are certain that ancient Egyptian prophecy and current events are converging and that the doomsday countdown has begun. But they also suggest that this scenario has a twist. This is what's so fascinating. Secrets that may lie within the Great Pyramid that have not been discovered, that may give mankind a whole new meaning to our existence, our origin, and our future. Some speculate that these secrets reside in a hidden chamber in or near the Great Pyramid that has eluded discovery for more than 4,000 years. They speculate further that the few who might survive the prophesied apocalypse could benefit from the treasures we might find there. Speculation about what these secrets are ranges from a hall of records illuminating all of ancient history to proof that an advanced civilization older than Egypt built the Great Pyramid. If there is a secret hall of records, many believe the ideal places to search for it are along the long, narrow shafts extending from the interior chambers. They're called air shafts, and that's probably not what they were, and no one really knows what their purpose was. In recent years, remote-controlled robots deployed by archaeologists ventured to the ends of the shafts 
and found dead ends at small doors. And we still don't know what's behind them. So that to me is the nearest thing to the possibility of a secret chamber at Giza. Some archaeologists believe that the greatest secrets of all lie buried beneath the pyramid's brooding guardian, the Sphinx. The Egyptian authorities kind of allowed a exploration using non-destructive methods, so they used seismographs and then they used radars. This went on till 1996. And under the left paw, they discovered a cavity, maybe about the size of a storage closet, and nobody's gone down there. I hope we get permission from the Egyptian authorities, at least some researchers, to be able to, to go down underground and explore this area and find out what's hidden down there. Others believe a hidden chamber lies buried 60 miles from the pyramids, which contains secrets that could fully illuminate the Egyptian prophecy. They think it is somewhere in the ruins of a vast bi-level palace complex known as the Labyrinth. The renowned Greek historian Herodotus toured the Labyrinth in the 5th century BC and was apparently awestruck by this architectural wonder that was ancient even in his era. He wrote, If all the great works of the Greeks could be put together in one, they would not equal this labyrinth. The pyramids likewise surpass description, but the labyrinth surpasses the pyramids. Although archaeological digs in the 19th century established the labyrinth's location, virtually no trace of it remains. But some people outside the mainstream entertain a remote possibility that excavations there will redefine our understanding of the Egyptians' doomsday prophecy. In the labyrinth, we will find things that we never expected before. We will find the proof of a high civilization that was destroyed by a polar reversal. But some believe that the most monumental discovery may actually help prevent the predicted cataclysm. They say the key may be to find one of the world's great missing treasures, the apex or capstone of the Great Pyramid. When you look at the Great Pyramid, the one thing you'll notice right away is it's not pointed at the top like a pyramid should be, but it's flat-topped like it was never finished. The capstone was the most important part of the pyramid. It could have been stolen, lost, destroyed. Maybe it's wishful thinking, but I believe it's going to be discovered, and this is going to activate the most incredible machine that man has ever been aware of. Such a notion may be more faith than theory, but some believe that by finding and returning the capstone to the top of the Great Pyramid, it will release a paranormal energy. Perhaps an energy strong enough to ward off global annihilation. Regardless of such suggestions, the pyramids loom as an ominous reminder of the prophecy purportedly made by its builders. But if the apocalypse does finally come, what becomes of the few who may survive? If we all pull together, and get through to the other side, taking the path of peace and love.